Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the latest home video review from us here at Flick Direct. And for today's home video review, this one is a special one, guys. Since that Halloween is coming right around the corner, for today's home video review, I'm here to talk to you guys about the original four Universal Monster films, Dracula, Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, and The Wolfman in 4K. Yes, guys, the original icons of Universal's horror films all in 4K, and man, this is amazing. If any of you are horror fanatics, and if you have not seen these films, please do yourselves a favor, watch these movies. Not just because of them being classics, but because in terms of horror film history, as far as I can remember, these guys were the first monster films ever put on screen. And what this collection is doing, the films are actually going in order from Dracula, Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, ending it off with The Wolfman. And something I want to show you guys later on, this is actually a really cool thing. All these movies hold up spectacularly over time. Now, I saw these movies each once as a kid, but even though I had only seen these movies once as a kid, I remember that all four of these movies had a big impact on me. Dracula being the biggest one out of all of them. I mean, Boris Karloff's performance as Frankenstein having a very great presence. Bela Lugosi still has a power on screen. Not just a presence, but a power on screen. Claude Rain still has a very sinister performance as the Invisible Man. And of course, the heartbreaking performance of Lon Chaney as the Wolfman. These movies and the performances within them are all absolutely fantastic. These movies aren't particularly scary movies by today's standards, but here's the thing. When I looked at these movies recently, but one thing in particular that I think these movies do excellently is set up a great atmosphere. These movies are iconic for a particular reason. If you haven't seen them, and if you're a big fan of monster films, specifically Universal monster movies, you need to check out these movies. I mean, I'm not just saying that because I love these movies, but these movies are not only such an important part of horror, but honestly, an important part of filmmaking history. So really, these movies are a most stone on that matter alone. If you don't own them already on VHS, DVD, or even Blu-ray, or even now in Blu-ray, nonetheless though, if you guys have never owned them, if you've wanted to own them for quite some time, seriously, four movies in one package, that is a freaking steal right there. Getting right into the audio and video quality, starting off with the video quality, all four films in 4K are presented at an aspect ratio of 133.1, and I gotta tell you guys, I wanna say that each film for about 95% of it, video-wise, looks absolutely spectacular. There are some close-ups that look kind of soft, but man, I gotta tell you guys, I was honestly blown away. All these movies are black and white. There's no color in these movies. It's specifically black and white. Now, one thing I gotta say, and I was very impressed by this, they improved the contrast. I don't know if you guys have seen these movies in the original form, whether it was on VHS or DVD. Each of the films have this very great filter to it, but with the improved contrast, these movies look absolutely amazing. The 4K details are there, but with the improved contrast, one thing that really surprised me is just how much more background detail I saw in these movies. With Dracula, two parts actually really impressed me. One part, which is where Renfield goes into Dracula's castle, seeing the amazing set, seeing the details on the walls, the staircase looked absolutely amazing. But one of my favorite shots in Dracula was this. Bela Lugosi walked towards that camera for the first time, seeing the details, seeing the pitch black darkness behind Dracula, I was honestly blown away by this. Frankenstein, one particular scene stood out, and of course, as you can all can imagine, it's the It's Alive! That sequence in 4K looks amazing. And one thing that stood out especially, the lightning strikes. And the Invisible Man, when Claude Rains goes up that snowy peak to go to a room, seeing the details within the snow looked absolutely amazing. And seeing all the details within the costumes, within the bar he was at, it looked amazing. In The Wolfman though, the sequence where a bunch of people come across a dead body, the four set piece looked spectacular. And one thing that I did not notice this time around, now of course, it's been years since I've seen this movie. I, I was a kid when I saw The Wolfman for the first time. Seeing the fog, the density of the fog, the contrast once again, whoever did the restoration for The Wolfman well freaking done for making these movies much better from modern age. Moving on to the audio quality, all four films 
and this one is very interesting, but I love that they kept it like this. All four films are on a Master Audio 2.0 mono track. Yes, all four films are in mono. Many of you will probably ask why weren't all these four films upgraded to either a 5.1, a 7.0, or a Dolby Atmos. But honestly, in my eyes, these films don't need those upgrades because in mono, while these films aren't upgrades, what they did here is that they just made the sound clear and more rich. You hear the background noise as if you're watching the film back in the 1930s, or like I said with the Wolfman in the 1940s. The dialogue sounds great. When they go to each menu screen, you hear every track from the certain film. But again, what they do here is that not only do they sound much more clear but all the sounds sound much more crisp nothing is gonna blow your mind in terms of the audio but once again with movies like these honestly the sound doesn't need to be mind-blowing it just needs to sound like it did but just more crisp and clear and these movies definitely have much more crisp and much more clear sound so again well done to them for not really upgrading it but for making everything to sound better finally moving on to the special features each of the four films includes their own featurettes, but as to give you guys the gist, they all include behind the scenes documentaries. There's also featurettes on Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney Jr., and Bela Lugosi. Strangely, not one for Claude Rains. Interesting. There's feature commentaries, theatrical trailers, and even more. Like I'm telling you guys, what I just told you about only scratches the surface of what they have. This has a lot of goodies. I want to show you guys the coolest thing about this collection. Just give me one moment. When you take off the main thing, look at wrong side. In each page, there's a piece of artwork, specifically Dracula, Frankenstein, and then going on to the first thing, we have Dracula and something else I really like, a nice little touch. On each side is the release here for all these movies. And look at the artwork for these things for both Blu-ray and 4K, by the way. There's one for Frankenstein with the original poster, 1931 as well. The Invisible Man, 1933. Look at that cover. This is so freaking cool. Moving on to the last one, we have the Wolfman. Look how amazing this looks. And then finally, going on to the last page with the Invisible Man and the Wolfman. How freaking awesome is that? The movies here and the featurettes, all of the video quality and audio quality are great. But the fact that they package this in such a really cool thing, especially for myself, like a horror fanatic like myself, this is just a, this is just the cherry on top right here. Universal, thank you for this. All in all, what we have here are timeless classics. In my eyes, four masterpieces. Films that are iconic for the horror genre, for horror history, and just film history in general. Perfect video quality, great audio quality, with a crap ton of featurettes and on top of that with an amazing cool box right here with the, which is essentially a book guys if you love these movies if you don't have them already this is a no-brainer but if you've never heard of these films and if you're looking for monster movies or if you've wanted to see them for the first time with halloween around the corner by the way each of the films is about an hour and 10 minutes so you can easily binge watch them and your Halloween afternoon, or even Halloween night. But guys, this is a no-brainer. Pick this up. I hope you all enjoyed my home video review of the Universal Monster Films, the classics, the icons, Dracula, Frankenstein, Invisible Man, and the Wolfman all in 4K. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for every our latest video from us goes live. If you guys want to see it for previous two home video reviews, just go to the right there or right there. Of course, until our next home review, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys. Hit like, smash subscribe, and get notified for whenever reviews, interviews, and news go live.